Purple and Casper mattresses are classic bed in a box options, and since our whole job is testing and reviewing them, we're gonna help you decide between them. I'm Julia, and this is Lauren. Today, we're gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the original Purple and Casper mattresses. From here on out, I'll be reviewing Casper, which makes me team Purple. Just a heads up that we did get these beds to test out for free, and we may earn a commission if you choose to buy with our affiliate links, but just keeps the lights on in here. <laughs> now let's get this video going, but remember, we do upload new video reviews all the time, so please like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna do it on my Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> Though each mattress performs differently, their policies are the same. You get the industry standard 100 night sleep trial and 10 year warranty. Plus, returns and shipping are both free. Plus, both mattresses do a great job at keeping your body aligned, which helps to prevent back pain. Purple because of the gel grid and Casper because of the zone support. More on this in the construction section. Another major difference is that Purple is going to sleep cooler than the Casper. Again, we'll go into more detail in the next section. And the last big difference is price. Purple falls around $1,400 for a queen and Casper comes in about $100 cheaper. Here's the much anticipated portion of the video where we cut open the mattresses and see what's going on inside. If you're familiar with purple, then you know the purple grid is the star of the show. This hyperpolymer material is the primary comfort layer. It evenly distributes your body weight and facilitates an insane amount of airflow through the mattress. Casper uses what they call airscape foam, which is essentially foam with holes poked in for airflow. Foam holds onto heat more than polymer, so it doesn't sleep as cool as the purple. Under that, Casper uses zone support, which is firmer at the head and feet, and softer towards the middle, which equals that full body alignment we discussed earlier. Purple has two foam support layers for added durability, while Casper uses a high-density foam base layer to do the same thing. We measure mattress firmness on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 is the softest and 10 is the firmest. Purple, we ranked as a 4 out of 10, which we would categorize as medium soft. And Casper is a 6 out of 10. When you lie down on Casper, you get that sensation of foam. It cradles your body, but you don't sink too far. Purple's feel is harder to describe. The closest thing I can liken the feel to is a squishy rubber stress ball. It's pretty soft, but it's not going to bunch up like a bean bag. If you're an average weight cider back sleeper, pop that champagne, because you can have your pick. Both the Purple and Casper do a good job of supporting these positions thanks to great pressure relief and spinal alignment. Stomach sleepers, you win some, you lose some. Today is just a losing day. Both beds are far too soft to keep the spine in alignment. And a dishonorable mention for Casper. Lightweight side sleepers may feel pressure issues, so I say pick Purple. So, who should get Purple? Hot sleepers. The purple gel grid is excellent when it comes to airflow. Also, side sleepers, because the purple is also really good at pressure relief. So who should get Casper? Anyone with back pain. That zone support layer is like magic for your spine. I'm not a doctor, it's just how it feels. And next, anyone who likes a foam feel should stick with Casper's all foam construction. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and like this video and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Go crazy. Now, if you want coupons on both mattresses and links to our full reviews, you can check those out in the description box below. Don't forget to follow us on social and thanks again for watching us. Bye.